Hi, I'm Anthony, stick designer at Bauer. We're here with Manny Beniers. We're gonna be doing a little custom project here uh, for the Winter Classic happening this year in Seattle. I tried to gather as much information about you as I could, and um, the Winter Classic uh, in general. I yeah. think one thing that is really interesting with Seattle and that's cool is the, the Kraken imagery that comes with it. Yeah. Um, so again, like, bunch of different elements that I already put in there with the, the Kraken in the background, but the Seattle skyline is something big. Yeah. So this is the official logo. So this is actually taking from the Seattle yeah. logo, right? Sweet. That you have in there. Um, so this is a color palette that is on your logos and your, uh, your uh, jerseys. So I gathered a bunch of different elements. I know for a fact that you guys are gonna be doing a tribute to the Seattle uh, Metropolitan. Yeah. But one thing that is really uh, interesting is the jersey is gonna be like the barbershop kind of look. Yeah, I like that. But then I think like, again, the, the Kraken with the giant squid and like taking over the, the boats is something that is interesting. I did like somewhat of a, a compass, but using the hockey puck instead of the baseball. Oh, nice. To kind of imitate a little bit of that Seattle Mariners uh, logo. Again, like walking back through some of the, the graphics that we did in the past in the Winter Classic. So you got pastas over here where we had well, full on football lines on the, uh, on the stick. And then he added like Prague's skyline on the side. And uh, I think his, uh, his quote was uh, this, yo. <laughs> Most recently, I think this, this is kind of the funniest project that I worked on, but for Winter Classic 2022, we had like this ugly sweater knitted type of yeah. graphics. So we adapted the Geo and the Hyperlite and had it like completely fake knit basically. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I thought this was really interesting. And like I said earlier, like I the the, the Pasternak was really, <laughs> was really uh, team oriented. The one other thing that I think we should talk about is maybe creating your brand and having maybe your logo. <laughs> Do you have something in mind or because I kind of went berserk and did a whole bunch of Yeah, things. I'll see. I don't have anything. Okay. So we'll see. So over here, uh, yes, I have the Seattle Mariners, but as you can see, I have a bunch of logos. So the one thing that I thought was kind of cool and I started with right off the bat was kind of mixing uh, your initials with a number and having it look like a building block. Yeah. Because uh, Seattle being such a younger team, trying to maybe integrate the uh, the Space Needle in there. Yeah, I, I know that's pretty cool. 10 in Roman numbers is X. So this is why like, you have a bunch of different X's. logos yeah. with the X's instead. And then I tried to play with your, uh, your M and your B and then number 10. So I got some of them that are kind of based off of this. Yeah. Where everything is kind of combined. You got everything in there. And I thought these were kind of cool, integrating the compass again and yeah. X being again number 10. 10. Uh, that would make sense. And then like I got these because I thought it would be interesting to kind of explore the colors. I think that- I, think I might have to do the, like the space needle on the back of the, like kind of like this. Yep. So maybe we could bring it back like on the strip of the stick, especially like on the higher part and have like your, your candy cane with the, the barbershop colors yeah. and fading to your space needle that goes all the way to the heel of the blade. Okay. And then we could play around with the barrel logo, like I said, and, and see if, how we can integrate like the Kraken and the, the tentacles like on the side of the graph. And then I think in terms of like, I think I'll probably go like more Seattle based, like larger items are gonna be probably more like the Space Needle, like it's probably the Skyline. And then I was thinking like more of like smaller things and be like, maybe like my family members or like my uh, yeah. zip code back home. But if you had your darker stick down the bottom, right? The blade is necessarily gonna be black. Yeah. Actually, it could be teal if you wanted to as well. Like we can use a silver to extreme as a base and have this even teal. But if this was kind of the carbon color and then you'd have your base fully teal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is gonna be funny, but yeah, it is cool. And then what I was thinking, yeah, I have something. 
Because like now the tentacles kind of come, I was thinking like around, yeah. like it almost feels like it's wrapping around the stick. Yes, you know? yes, we could do this all over the place, but the one thing we could do is like having the dark elements being like this and then creating some sort of negative space and having like the tentacles being keel and then fading like that. Oh, oh, so like this is the tentacle part basically. Yeah. And we could create like a whole bunch of different split in the graphics. That would be really cool. And have like the stick carbon color come out as a tentacle yeah. design elements. And then this could be whatever color we want. Like I brought a couple of metallic colors, but as you can see over here, we have a whole bunch. So like if even this is too dark or too black, we could do any but we do have a black. Rock. What if you did like, would it look weird if we did like Michigan Maze right here and put an M here, but and it's still outlined the teal. Yeah. Is that too much contrast? I, I can definitely try it up, but no, I think it would be pretty cool, honestly. And then same thing, like your Bauer logo could be a cutoff in the design elements and have this as the color of the stick. Would it be hard to add stuff onto this part? Absolutely not. Either it's like tonal, black on black. Yeah. Like I said, if we wanted to have something that is a little lighter as a base and then having all the elements that we just talked about, whether it's the Easter eggs, like we could push black on black a little bit, like on the Zach Bell stick, right? As, yeah. as um, coordinates. It, it could also be like the crack in red too. Yep. Uh, would be cool, like crack in red in terms of like, I don't know what we'll go here, I'm like city, uh, skyline, if I do like Absolutely. up here, if I do, um, it would be pretty cool if you went uh, each team on both sides or like all the Seattle teams on each side of the stick and like one, but like one kind of area of it. So it went like all the way around. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, so Seattle teams. All on like the same part of the stick. Uh, just the logo though. Wrapping around. Yeah. Like the Metropolitans, Seahawks, the Mariners. And then we talked about maybe adding the the space needle in the back. So let's put some keel over here. It would be, oh, another good idea would be uh, like there's two different mountains that kind of yes. uh, are in Seattle. and on both sides, it'd be pretty cool to implement those. Absolutely. Um, somehow, could put them around the logos, actually like it's almost like protecting the teams. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, and then, like we said, having some sort of a candy cane feel to it, having like this and an ankle. Then having your would be blue and then white and then again like all the way down the stick and have that kind of link to your jersey that you're going to be wearing mm -hmm. Can I see this? yes i just want to see what it is like when i'm holding <laughs> yeah i'll have darker features in the white too but this is a cool one well, we could have like some sort of, the, we, you were talking about the mountains and the snow. It's yeah. Definitely something that we could play around. It's also, it's also on the, on the winter classic logo, right? Is it? Right over here. Like the little addition over here with the teal. I think this could be nice to have like this little bit of touch. The waves is also a nice design element that we could try and integrate in there and, and try to figure out if uh, this is something that, cause you guys are just sitting by the water, right? Yeah. That could be sweet to integrate as well. And then, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll work my magic and make sure that uh, <laughs> we have something to show you. Sounds good. I'm excited. This is sweet.